All right, Coach, uh, first games tonight after an extended break. Uh, what kind of uh, preparations have you had uh, to do with your team leading up, or after a big break leading up to tonight's game? Well, we've been, uh, you know, we've been back since Monday the 3rd, and, uh, you know, first day, you know, you run a little bit and try to get a little bit of, the, of, the, of them getting back into shape, but, you know, that's impossible. Uh, so the next day, you know, gets they get a little sore. Um, but we've been we've been gradually getting ourselves back into the mold of things and, and back into the the swing of things. And uh, you know, for them to get in shape, you know, we hope that you know by the end of next week or or this week that they get they get back into the swing of things. Um, so we've been preparing ourselves as far as uh, doing lots of drills. Uh, try not to, didn't try not to just concentrate so much on getting back in shape because I feel like, hey, let's pick up where we left off and, uh, and, and, and the shape will come. Um, so we've been doing a lot of things like that, trying to just kind of focus back on, on, on getting ourselves right back into it. Does it give your squad a little bit of a disadvantage in that Carl Albert isn't, this isn't their, necessarily their first game from the break? Uh, how, how do you... Uh... Look at that. It just depends on when they came back. You know, if they came back, uh, you know, you know, some some people will bring them back a, a day before. Some people will bring them back, you know, a couple of days in advance. So yes, it does. It gives them a little bit of an advantage. But they've also had a big layoff here from since last week. They played on the third, I think, of January, and so they've kind of laid off this whole week. So you know, um, it's it's an advantage because um, they've got the rust off now and, and everything. We still have to get the rust back off of us. So. So yes, they've got a little bit of leg up on us. How would you assess that uh, Carl Albert team? Um, you throw out the record. Um, right now they're sitting at two and ten, I think, something like that. Zero uh, and four in the conference. Um, but uh, I expect the unexpected when they get in here. Uh, they beat us here last year, and they had only won six games at that time, and they come in here and beat us by two. Uh, so it's conference season, and I feel like this. You know, all games are important, and they know that. And so they're going to come in here with a full head of steam and, and, and not back down and go right at us. Because um, I know Jeff Tabman, he's going to have them ready. So I expect them to come in here and give us everything if they've got. Uh, as, they, as they come right at you, how would you uh, go about preparing for them defensively? Um, defensively, you know, we've been doing a lot of things uh, as far as on our side of it. You know, we've, we've changed up a few things. Um, I'm, I'm a guy that loved to kind of force things through to the middle. Now we're going to force to the baseline side now. And, and so we've been kind of preparing for that. Um, they lost their best player. So they've got two, two great post players that, that really, really – uh, can score inside. So our focus has been on those two girls, uh, uh, Katie Benamore and uh, uh, I think McGowan, Lindsey McGowan. Um, they're real physical. They can score. They've got great skills. So we've really been concentrating on those two, kind of looking at doubling down inside, you know, and not worrying about, you know, they have a couple of shooters, but, you know, we're, we're more focused on the post. So um, that's, where, that's where we concentrate the most on this week. Offensively, is there anything that you can uh, do to exploit that team? Uh, yes, uh, you know, they play a lot of zone, so we're hoping they're not as big as we are. You know, they're, I, I mentioned there are two post kids, they're real physical, but, you know, we're tall, you know, and, I, and I'm hoping that, you know, we can go in and, and, and finish some things. Uh, we the, their, their zone is not uh, the best, and, and that's where we found some holes in it. So we're hoping to ex exploit that a little bit um, as far as their zone goes, uh, you know, especially the middle part of it, and uh, for us to attack it as well. So um, we hope that uh, um, we, we get them in that area. And, and, and as far as pushing the basketball, you know, we still hope to get them in transition a lot too as well. One of the uh, benefits of an extended break is a chance to heal and recover. Do you have any nagging injuries uh, that you need to well, and that's the and that's the part about when you do come back. You know, you got to watch how much you 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 put on them early because that's when the nagging injuries start reappearing. Uh, we had a few growing pools that are now getting healed back up again because they hadn't ran in two weeks. So here comes those old nagging injuries coming back because they're not they they haven't done anything. So we're we're healing back up, and and so we hope that uh, um, that they those injuries don't come into play. All right, Coach, good luck to you tonight. Thank you.